we're going to see the big house and this is the big house here this is Wilmont House built in 1859 Very nice, isn't it? Right, you can see the old shutters. I like the old shutters. The only thing about them that I don't like is when they're shut, because that means you can't see in. <laughs> but I certainly do like the old shutters. There's one there, but there's no way I could reach up there. One there is open. You can see the rose garden there. So I'll take you around them. I don't know if the roses are out or not. Possibly not. It's maybe too early yet for roses. I don't know. I'm not a gardener. And then this is the entrance. As you can see, unfortunately a lot of damage to it. Look at the old light. Isn't that amazing? And as you can see the door is locked, obviously. Look at the old light, the old light's class. There's a crest. I don't know what that crest is of. But I do know what this one is of. Because what that actually says is JB. And if you remember, I mentioned JB in the last video. Because JB stands for James Bristow, who was one of the owners of the house. So that's what that stands for, JB. It's James Bristow. So there you go. Quite an amazing house, there's no doubt about it. I don't know what they are down there. I haven't a clue. So if you know what they are, let me know. So this would have been the front, obviously, of the house. It's well covered by ivy now. This must have been the servants' quarters. Or the servants' entrance, I would assume. Look at the black work there, isn't that fantastic? Absolutely brilliant. So obviously this would have been the servant's entrance, you would assume, back in the day. Of course, I think they would have had servants in the 19th century. Yes, they would have. But it's very overgrown now, that's for sure. And there's picnic tables as well. So you can come here for a wee picnic, bring your lunch with you. They have a balcony on that as well, see that? Well, they could have looked out. And people would come here who are married couples, couples that, on their wedding day for photos. In fact, a member of my own family got their photos took here. And they were getting married. She's well covered there. No doubt about it. And they've got it blocked off here. Oh, there's the original steps down there. Do you see that? That's the original steps down. 
and look at this here the way it curves around there so pretty amazing and there's a bell i wonder was that for the servants and so a lot of people would get their wedding photos took here on the green so they would some house isn't it and Lily Dixon left this house as an old people's home but unfortunately it had to close after a number of years and she left the park to the public and you can get down these steps here so we'll go down here slowly take a wee look see what we can see obviously they've got the windows all blocked up so you can't really see much but we'll see what there is here if there's anything to see and there's not really there's not really we'll go up to the corner and if there's nothing you're not going to see in because it's all boarded up as you can see or bricked up as well so you're not going to be able to see much. There's a wee bird, I think. It is indeed. Look at the bank. The stone bank. So that's us round then. We were up there, up top. Um, you can open that, but I'm not going to. So that's the other steps that I showed you a moment ago. So I didn't expect to get down here, but as I say, there's, there's nothing that you can see. You could open that, but, but I'm not going to. I'm not that type of guy. I'm afraid there's not a lock on it. But there you are. Unfortunately, the big house is empty today. So we'll head back up. Can we see in those windows from this level? Probably not. No. You can't see much. Nope. I think I might have been in here once. Many moons ago. But I'll tell you what we will do, if it's not blocked up, we'll have a wee look through the letter box. Look at that there, there's the old rail. See that? So we'll have a wee jig through the letter box, will we? If it's not blocked up, it probably is. Ah, you can't even open it. There you are. You can't see nothing really through there either. Well, you can, you can see a wee bit. <laughs> You've been thinking I'm very nosy. There's the key. Oh. 
Well, you can see a wee bit there as well. That's like a cabinet or something. A cupboard or something. See that? Now, that's like the light. There you are. You've seen a wee bit of it at least. That's like a chandelier or something there coming down from the ceiling. My goodness. So at least you got seen a wee bit. Just unfortunate that this building is sitting here empty. But such is life. Hello. Hello. Sitting sitting empty, it's unbelievable. Sitting empty. I know. And it was left by Lady Dixon for the for the people. Yeah. For a an old people's home. It was an old people's home for a time, but yeah. I think it got to the stage where it was costing too much for the repair. And then they had to close it, unfortunately. It's just, a, just a shame that it's lying empty. It is, isn't it? Because uh, um, um, a bit of modernisation and everything else. Yeah, man, we're open here. It's all time. Yeah. could be doing something with it. I noticed you have a wee dog there. Oh, yes, that's Calvin. Did you, do you know that there's actually dog graves here? Is there? There is indeed. The dog graves are... Let me see how I would explain to you. Do you know where the fountain is? Where the wall got the entrance to the wall garden? Oh yes. Well see if you go by the fountain, you'll come to the corner of the wall garden. Mm -hmm. See if you go straight down there, you'll see three plaques and a concrete base. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well that's where the three dogs are buried. Aww. One was uh, Sir Thomas. Uh Pinto, I think he called it. The other one was Dandy, who belonged to Sir Lady Dixon. Mm -hmm. And the other one was a terrier, uh -huh. I think it was a Yorkshire terrier, and it belonged to the two sons, and the sons fought in South Africa, oh, in, the in the army. Yeah. So, wow, that's amazing. So what I'll do is I, I'm going to finish this wee video, and then I, if you're still here, I'll come back and I'll give you my wee card because I'm Mark Porter from the Church History Trail right. YouTube channel, so you'll be able to see yourself uh, right. on it. Okay. That's lovely. We're so, going to be on it. Yes, you are indeed. So thank you and God bless. Oh, thank God bless you. God bless you. Too. Before I go, just tell the viewers your first names each. I'm Susan. Hello, Susan. I, I'm David, and this is Calvin. Hello, Calvin. <laughs> and I'm Mark. Pleased to meet you. Okay, lovely to meet you. Mark. Thank you. Thanks for stopping. Yes, no problem. Thank you. So there you are, folks. So in the next wee video, I'm going to do the rose garden. But before I do, I'm going to let you see the side of the house here, which is beautiful. So I think those people agree with me that it's unfortunate that this uh, that this house has had to uh, close its doors. But there you go. So thanks for watching and God bless.